नमस्ते बुद्धा से इज लाइफ इज सफरिंग बट दैट इज वॉट बुद्धा इज सेंग अंटिल यू कम टू दिस सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन दैट लाइफ इंडिड इज सफरिंग इट मेक्स नो सेंस यू मे गो ऑन रीडिंग वॉट बुद्धा से इज बट वेन इट कम्स टू योर ओन एक्सपीरियंसेस एंड वेन यू से दैट लाइफ इज सफरिंग दैट इज वेन यू हैव बिकम अ फुल मून दैट इज वेन यू हैव ट्रूली इवॉल्वड बिकॉज नाउ यू आर नॉट रिपीटिंग वॉट बुद्धा एस एड नाउ यू आर सेंग थ्रू योर ओन लाइफ एक्सपीरियंसेस एंड लाइफ इंडीड इज अ सफरिंग As far as I am concerned, I lost everything at the age of fourteen. I lost my mother. I lost my father. I lost my home. I became homeless, and I had nobody. So my journey started from the streets, and here I am now. So I went through all kind of. you may call it suffering you may call it difficulties but it is through this journey that one comes to the realization that life is indeed a suffering many times people desire a certain thing but look closely once the desire is fulfilled then they suffer then they suffer you desire a woman you get married and then what happens there are many such real life cases where the man is suffering because of the woman whom he had desired and now he can't do anything the same is the case with woman she desires a man she gets that man and in the end she is suffering she is not happy so that is why it is said that be careful think before you desire a thing because once your desire is fulfilled then you will start suffering so suffering is there for the soul origin of consciousness until you go through the suffering you will not come to that stage of awareness and that is why it is said that suffering has a noble purpose the burning of the ego and the evolution of higher consciousness and when it comes to ego i remember the story of Raja Vikram Aditya. He was an emperor, and in his court, there was a discussion going on that which planet is great. So somebody said Saturn, and Raja Vikram Aditya said Saturn. How can you say Saturn is a great planet? In fact, Saturn brings all kind of hardships. so i don't think that we should give much importance to saturn rather we should give importance to venus because venus gives all kind of pleasures beauty who is saturn so he was not in the right sense but when his sade sati came when shani sade sati began then he lost his whole empire he became a beggar and then he realized the power of saturn that a saturn can make you a beggar and the same saturn can also make you an emperor so never dare to say anything wrong about saturn and that is how this book came into existence called shani mahatmya meaning the greatness of saturn many people read this book because in this book the greatness of saturn is mentioned and the reason i am talking about saturn is because saturn dislikes ego 
so the more ego you have the more beating you will get the more you are tend to suffer but this suffering is also not to hurt you but to bring you back to your senses so that you become aware of the reality many times people become very egoistic they get lots of money lots of status and they start thinking as if like they are the emperors but even emperors have lost everything one example i gave you of raja vikramaditya so in this short podcast i have talked about suffering so when you are going through rahu mahadasha ketu mahadasha many times people tend to suffer but this suffering is a kind of cleansing process so that you come back to the stage of awareness and so suffering indeed is very important it is important until you come back to your awareness once you become aware then there is no suffering then even though there is a lot of difficulties or there is a storm going on you will not react because now through your sufferings you have become a much wiser person and so in this podcast i have talked about suffering and how suffering is necessary until the purpose is met and the purpose is to bring you back to the stage of awareness so let's begin with this podcast Yesterday Mohan asked a new question is suffering really necessary the answer is yes and no if you had not suffered as you have there would be no depth to you as a human being no humility no compassion suffering cracks open the shell of ego and then comes a point when it has served its purpose suffering is necessary until you realize it is unnecessary suffering has a noble purpose the evolution of consciousness and the burning up of the ego every individual is born on a certain level of consciousness the lower the level of consciousness the more physical he or she is the higher the level of consciousness the less physical and more spiritual he or she is then their love is purely selfless then there is a certain fragrance to such a love love that comes from the state of the soul and not the mind not the body communion between two bodies is sex communion between two minds is love communion between two souls is samadhi the higher purpose of a meditative soul is to reach the stage where the communion is between the souls soul mates people are trying to find god by using their intellectualism by bringing some new techniques by introducing techniques and methods and what not they simply forget 
that god cannot be found through techniques god can be found only through your heart the heart it is intelligent and there is a difference between intellectualism and intelligence intellect is of the mind intelligence is of the heart now on a base level to a less evolved soul intellectualism is very engaging but to an evolved soul it is not intellectualism it is intelligence and intelligence comes from your heart a meditative soul aligns the mind with the heart and now the heart instructs and the mind follows so now the same intellectual person sounds a truly intelligent person intelligence is intellect in tune with your heart when you are tuned with your heart you are no more just intellectual you have become intelligent but how to tune with your heart meditate the only way to get in tune with yourself is through meditation turn inwards look within spend some quality time with yourself and then no matter what planets or nakshatras you belong to after all the supreme energy is of the benevolent compassionate lord your master the energy is the same the sun is the same the moon is the same what is not the same is the receiving capabilities every individual receives the energy based on his or her antenna my purpose is to help you all to fine tune your antenna and then there is no question of what is luck and unluck then whatever comes is his gift is his blessings and then can anything ever go wrong in our life so come don't get lost in this small minds that divide the stars into lucky and unlucky all these are shallow minds and you have come to the no mind stage where there is no mind but only the heart and the heart knows the way the heart can help you find the way the heart should become the answer to all your questions remember the emphasis should be on the heart the mind lives in doubt and the heart lives in trust total trust when you trust suddenly you become centered get out of your head and get into your heart think less and feel more there is no hard rule but shallow people have made rules out of ignorance with the utter ignorance they have tried to fit life into a certain rule that is not possible life is so large that nobody can trap it stop it block it life is a flow 
it is a river it never really judges to what comes in between life just continues to flow life is like a river it keeps flowing and flowing till it merges into the sea nothing can stop the flow of life but you can enjoy the journey human beings are prone to judging and judging is ugly even jesus says who am i to judge the matter is between you and god so why do we judge there is no rule that can distinguish what is right and what is wrong it is all situational the same knife when used to save your life becomes a masiha and the same knife when cuts your finger becomes a criminal so my dear followers do not get trapped in judging what is lucky and unlucky or what is wrong and what is right for the real truth is only to be found beyond the fields of wrong doing and right doing rules are the outcome of your mind and you are not the mind bhagwan maharshi says the nature of the mind is to wander you are not the mind you are the self the self should rise above the mind and the way to do so is through meditation move away from your mind and move towards your heart meditate गम गणपत नम ओ गम गणपत नम ओ गम गणपत नम